We're working with Klecky. Klecky is an online drawing tool. When you open it up, it's going to look like this. We're going to go over and we're going to be working with layers today. Uh, we're going to start by importing a picture. So what you're going to want to have is a picture of yourself that you've taken ahead of time, like I have here. And when you hit import, it's going to open up your files and you want to pick that picture, put it in as a layer. I'm going to kind of center mine here and get started with it here. So this is one of my layers. Now this is layer two. I want to rename that so I know which layer I'm working with when I'm working on this. I'm going to call this photo. There we go. I'm going to rename this other layer here. I'm going to call it drawing. Okay, and that's where my drawing is. Now, whatever you put on top here is going to be whatever is on top in this image. So I want to work uh, on my drawing section here, but I don't want it to be white. So I'm actually going to create a new layer and call it drawing. So that way I have a nice clean empty layer to start with. We want it clear, kind of like a sheet of plastic that's been put over this drawing. And on here, we can create a new drawing. So using my brush, I'm going to just kind of trace around the major parts of my uh, self portrait here, drawing with the mouse. I'm gonna create some big, thick black lines like that. I'm gonna get the beard. here there we go and the ears and what's fun about this is it can get kind of comical looking when you start working on it, it doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be uh, amazing this is after all drawing with a mouse which is not the easiest thing to do so we're gonna start with some some really simple kinds of shapes here now I don't like where this is so I'm gonna fix that using my eraser and the more you you kind of mess around with this the more you're going to learn how to uh, go back and forth with your tools here so now I've got the major shapes here of this and if I go to my layer and I go to my photo layer here and I take it down the opacity you can see what your drawing looks like without the drawing underneath without the, uh, the photo underneath now from here we can uh, once we have all of our larger spaces here we can uh, create another layer which I'm going to put underneath my drawing and I'm going to name this one color. And this is where we're going to be putting in the color of the image. So using the brush again, I'm going to pick a color that uh, I can use for like my hair. So I'm going to go for like a brown kind of color here. And I'm going to start changing the size of this and I'm going to fill this up. Now, if I go past that black line that I made on my drawing layer, you can see that it's actually working underneath that. So I'm actually working underneath that layer. So it's no big deal if I cross over those lines. And that's the nice part about working on a computer. You can kind of let the computer kind of fix those things for you. And then when I get my big bushy eyebrows here, put those in, I can switch to a skin color. I can go into that space and we can get a little messy with this. So what you wanna do is you wanna go through your face and you're gonna to want to draw a very simple kind of drawing like that of your face. And then you can go into a color layer and can add some color to that. And that's the plan here. We're going to try to uh, create a self portrait here using some uh, simple kind of tools, some simple drawing tools here. And then from here, you can add an additional layer, which we can put behind everything and we'll call that your background. So now I don't need my photo anymore. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna add one more layer here. We're gonna call it layer three and change that to background. And because this is underneath everything, no matter what I do in this layer, it's always gonna be behind and so it won't show up at all uh, inside of this. So I can get lots of uh, different kinds of effects here and I can create a, a simple portrait pretty easily with some easy stuff. So this is basically what we're gonna be doing for this project. Uh, try out some different layers, try out some different photos, maybe put some different photos on different layers, uh, see what you can get and uh, have fun with it. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. 
You can also subscribe to Sturbart to be notified of the latest video uploads and to help support the channel. Keep learning, creating, and inspiring.